Hi friends, I am Sam. So today our topic of discussion is breathing and exchange of gases. What is breathing? And before knowing the answer for what is breathing, let's first think about the purpose of breathing. And to know the answers for these two questions, we need to know why the gases are exchanged in our body continuously. Let me tell you this. Whatever the work we do, we need energy, right? But to create that energy, molecules like glucose has to be broken down. Molecules like glucose has to be broken down to produce energy. And in this process of catabolism that is breakdown of molecule, CO2 is released. And but to accomplish this process, that is the O2 is utilized in the process of catabolism and the CO2 is released. So whatever the gas that is CO2 released out and it is harmful for our body. So it has to be released out of the body. So the deoxygenated blood is carried out from the tissue to the right heart. And here the deoxygenated blood will be given to the lungs. Here in the lungs, the deoxygenated blood will be purified into the form of oxygenated blood. That is by releasing out of CO2 into atmosphere and taking in O2. So in this process of purification of blood, that is making the deoxygenated blood into oxygenated blood. So after this, the oxygenated blood will be given to the left side of the heart from lungs. From here, the oxygenated blood will be supplied to the tissues by the systemic circulation. And the blood from the heart to the lungs is pulmonary circulation. So the exchange of gases that is inspiring of O2 and expiring of CO2 is called breathing and the gases are exchanged in the tissue everything this everything creating energy will be occurred in the tissue as per the requirement of the that organ or that tissue so this is all about the why the gases are exchanged in our body and what is breathing and the purpose of breathing Okay, now respiratory organs. Depending upon the level of organization and the habitat, different group of animals have different mechanisms of breathing. So, according to their habitat and level of organization, different group of animals have different mechanisms of breathing. The level of organization as you all know cellular tissue organ and organ system level and the habitat aquatic or terrestrial so next the primitive type of mechanism is through simple diffusion Simple diffusion in 
lower vertebrates like sponges, cylindrates, and flat bones. Sponges, cylindrates, cylindrates, and in flat worms. And next type is through moist cuticle. In earthworms. Next type is tracheal tubes. in insects when we study about cockroach we will have a clear look about the tracheal tubes next type is gills in aquatic arthropods in mollusks in fishes next type most advanced type of mechanism of breathing is through lungs reptiles birds and mammals respire through lungs but there is a special case when we look at the amphibians In the early stages of life, they have gills and in adult life, they will have lungs and they can also respire through moist skin. So in the early life, through gills. In the late life, that is in the adult life, through lungs and they can also respire through moist skin, that is amphibians. The classical example of amphibians is, as we all know, it is frog. So this is all about the respiratory organs. This is all about the respiratory organs. Through simple diffusion in sponges, cylindrates, flat forms, that is in lower invertebrates, and through my cuticle in earthworm, tracheal tubes in insects, that is example is cockroach, and in through gills in aquatic arthropods, mollusks, and in fishes. Through lungs, that is most advanced type of respiratory system, through lungs in reptiles, birds, mammals, and when we come to the amphibians it is special case in the early life they will respire through gills in the late life that is in the adult life they will respire through lungs and they can also respire through skin the classical example of amphibians is frog